I bought this one to use in New Jersey in that old zinc mine that is now frequented by those looking for glow rocks I had it for a few months ahead of time so only now get to review this since I used it. I wanted to take my kid to this mine and needed an actual mining pick. I had no problem at all busting up rocks with this hammer with no damage to anything but the rocks. This hammer took whatever I threw at it. The grip was perfect for me and I did not use gloves so I do not know how it feels with them on. This is made here in the US of some hard steel for sure and worth every penny. Having swung hammers in a variety of trades and disciplines for over 50 years, I think I know what makes for a good hammer. Estwin has always led the pack in my opinion. I have the old leather grip hatchets and hammers I used for framing and cabinetry, and they are still lovely tools. But I will put function before tradition now that I am older and hopefully wiser. While the traditional leather grip is a look, the blue synthetic grip has the function I now need. With a little bit of shock absorption and the non-slip reducing the need to grip the tool tightly. Both contribute bursa relief. No more golf for tennis elbow for me. Get the blue grip and you will be glad you did. I am absolutely no rock hound although I wish I was. I bought his to go hunting for topaz in the Texas hill country. Since my wife and I were going to share the duties we were debating the 14 or 22 ounces. So glad we went for the 22 ounce whilst 22 ounces seems much heavier, and it is. It was still very easy to wield and gives so much more clout. This pick hammer took all the beating that a couple of novices could throw at it and some more I can see many happy years ahead with this BTW. I did also go all out and buy a leather case for the head. Well worth the investment as that point can be mean. Packaged really well. Item was perfectly preserved in bubble wrap.